Alright, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> welcome back, welcome back. So it's going to be on Outpost, which is, once again, a Fortress-style map. With EG currently ahead, one game in this best of three series. I'm just taking a look at the map. I'm not a big fan of Outpost. I prefer, uh, what was, what's the first one called? Extinction? Extinction. This is the map that's uh, two and two, so it's not like everyone shares a base. They're uh, they're split up, two golds in the middle. Yep, there's a bit of variance in this tournament as to how it is. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad we invited Huck. I'm so glad. <laughs> this tournament would be dull without him. Like seriously, sleep deprived, BMing little midget. That's the best best way to be. Uh, right, by the way, those of you who like the look of mono battles, I'm happy to say that BX Mono Battle Sand Canyon, which you are seeing in this tournament, is available under the featured section of US Battle.net. So you can go in there and you can just get in the game. Simple as that. Nice and easy. So I'd recommend that you play it. It's definitely much better than the mono battles maps that are currently available because it's it's much better set up. It's got a lot more options and things like that. So I would recommend it. All right. I'll check if these guys are ready. If they are, we shall get started. Everything's set up properly. We've got the liquid guys saying they're okay. Let's wait for Huck to either complain about the about how late it is or to say that he's okay. <laughs> you can't ask them to put a handicap on themselves. What the hell, <laughs> chill? You're supposed to be impartial in this bloody thing. <laughs> oh man, Sheth's here. I wonder if Nazgul will actually Huck? sub out. Sheth just went online. Huck is going 90%. <laughs> oh, he's actually got to go 90%. <laughs> wow. Oh man. <laughs> We'll have to see if... Do they want... Do they want Chef? Yeah, looks like... You're bringing the big guns out, man. You bring the big guns. Chef is here. He is in the house. Nice. So, we're gonna have to put... I assume we're gonna swap Nazgul out. I would've thought Bumblebee, but... Or Bumblebee. see who they choose. Yeah. Oh, he's just oh, gonna he's spec. Just specking. That's brave. Just that is mana brave. aura. Yep. Mana aura plus 10 is in effect. Now, here's a question. What happens if he presses the go button? Does he magically get put into the game? Uh, maybe. On a mystical team that doesn't <laughs> exist. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have a spawning location, so I don't think that matters. But, okay. yeah, there you go. I think we should be okay. Oh, it's like giving these guys a crash course in how to actually use this mono battles map here. Alright. Oh my god, the picks are so fast. Yep, here we go. I saw Roach, Marine, Siege Tank, Zealot, Baneling. Oh, Medivac. My God. As a repick. LC oh, Gamer no. allowed Medivac? <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't he exclude that? It's his choice. It's You don't have to exclude them. He gets Medivacs. Oh, yeah. He, he's going to be happy with that. And by happy, I mean <laughs> absolutely not. Noni gets sentries. That's good. Hydralisk so for he's TLO. Just be the healer, right? Or the yeah. SCB dropper. That's all he I can think do. I think he can drop. I'm pretty sure he can drop. But I mean, there's, there's no point in him really dropping, I guess. But I, I think he can. Oh wow! Nazgul gets Zerglings. Nazgul's actually got the opportunity to do serious early game damage here. Right. Well, especially against a medevac player. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, Huck. I tell you, man, H Huck was the guy who wanted into this Moon Battles thing. He really did. <laughs> it's like, he tweets me, and he says something which we now certainly cannot say in this community. Uh. <laughs> this is not, we just don't even need to talk. We can just sit here and yeah, watch this. Yeah, Yeah. I'm actually very surprised that they're not breaking out uh, jokes about the earlier result <laughs> of Puma losing, but you never know. Oh, Mario, oh. oh, oh, that is oh. brutal. 
Huck is, I, I mean, I don't know, man. Huck might be 90% handicap, but he's 200% BM. <laughs> Apparently that chef aura didn't, uh, didn't rub off on Huck. Apparently not. Aura yeah. Alright, here it is. The composition, ladies and gents. My god, AG is try hard. I mean, they're actually, they're kind of both try hard. There's a lot of tier one units there. Okay. Both, pl both sides have banelings available. Huck's got zealots. Yeah, I think oh, we wow. can see where this is going to go. LZ Gaming against Medivax. All these units are weak against Banelings. So <laughs> this is going to be crazy. Right? Every single unit dies to Banelings. Yeah, so this is going to be madness. This I is... would be feeding the Zerg player if I was there. Oh, <laughs> like, yeah. just Jesus. yeah. The, bear in mind, though, if, uh, you can't feed the player in the first five minutes. So this is right. going to be interesting. I imagine Huck's just going to go right for Proxy Gate. Obviously. Is TLO... Oh, TLO... Sh I think he maybe saw that. Fortunately, the, the views aren't working so well. But Huck looking for a place to play, put a pile on. So he's going to just... Uh, show the probe. Mm, I don't know. Maybe Let's maybe TLO TL realizes. Right. More the point, what does he do, though? I mean, the only way to stop that pylon right. at, this, at this early stage... Nazgul's got to get the lings out immediately. What's Nazgul doing? Nazgul goes for an early pool. I think he's six pooling, actually. I'm pretty sure he is. That's a good thing to do here. But Huck's going to go for Proxy Zealot on the high ground. And, well, TLO's seen it. The problem is TLO hasn't got a pool out yet. So that's the EG player spamming, saying, or the Liquid player spamming, saying, oh, God, help. So this is really, I think, going to be reliant on Nazgul getting over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering if you're Nazgul, do you go over there and save your, your players from yeah. these proxy gates? Or do you go you try kill to kill someone else? You kill the pylon. I guess because they share the base, uh, it makes more sense to go over and, and deal with Huck's shenanigans. Yeah, I mean, Bumblebee Both certain can... players in here getting a spawning pull up, so they'll be able to get spying crawlers at a minimum and a single queen. Lings are on the way. If he, yeah, he, he needs to kill the pylons. He actually can. Yeah. And the probe is still there, admittedly. So another pylon could be placed, but that could end up going down. The link, no, no, there we go. He's got to kill that pylon. He's, the, oh, that's a good position for another pylon, though. So wow. it, it's going to shut it down. I don't know. I, this pylon could die. It's in a good position, though, so he can't get a full surround in it. At least one zealot's going to get out. He's got to just try and wall that zealot in and stop it from doing damage. Huck's got some pro uh, 4v4 placement here. And look at that pylon timing. Doesn't even miss a beat on the gateways. Chronoing both those gateways out. Some good drone micro there by TLO. Wow. Pulling the weakened drones away as That's really nice. And dealing with that zealot. This, wow, once the, once the spines nice. come out with that Ling reinforcement, he actually should be okay against this. He should be able to hold this no problem. And the spines are about to complete, so it looks like Huck's cheese isn't going to work here. Yep. And Huck knows it. He's gone back to building probes in his main base. I'm going to be keeping a close eye on, on uh, LZ Gamer. So I want to see what he's going to do with these medevacs. There's going to be one medevac per marine. I can pretty much guarantee it. There's going to be medevacs healing banelings. It's going to be totally pointless. It'll be brilliant. I wonder if you're him, do you just go bank mode and expand and start feeding? Or do you try to be like the healer that just flies around with a fleet of medevacs? Well, I suppose it really depends on the units. Uh, with the unit composition, maybe you go medevac because, like, with marines yeah, and zealots, I think particularly biased. zealots, it would be quite beneficial. Right. Admittedly, it, I'm trying to. I'm now going to embarrass myself by not remembering the stats, but let's hold that thought because here come the banelings coming in. Machine's just going to go for it, and oh man, Bumblebee actually has banelings of his own. But machine versus Bumblebee's baneling split. Oh, ah, no. don't rate it. Uh, and Bumblebee comes off worse there, certainly. Lings go right oh, for it. Oh, that was not the best way to do things. And do Muslims splitting right here against that? No! He needs to not be anywhere near that. Ah, Bumblebee taking heavy hits here. And meanwhile, in the main base of TLO, Huck has done a run by all his zealots with no shields, very low. But he did get quite a few drone kills there, killed some Lings, and is now going to work on the queen, getting Agar back into that spine. So uh, TLO will be fine, but the damage has been done, dear God. It really has, hasn't it? Oh my god. And uh, Machine's just got to gut Bumblebee now. And it, it, Bumblebee gets some links out, but they need to be Bane links. And the question is, will he be able to do that? Right. De Muslim is... He's got a couple of links here. There is this... Actually, that's Machine's Bane link, so never mind. Bumblebee can't do anything with those links there. And everything's just coming in, out here. Noni does have... Quite